What's up, guys? It is me, Fuji. Broadcast a little bit of that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the last of its kind, right before Infinity Ward chucked this thing down the toilet. And yes, it needed to end. I can't imagine Modern Warfare 4. Oh my goodness, that would have been bad. The amount of ACRs, <laughs> the amount of MP7s, the amount of nonsense. <laughs> But yes, guys, Modern Warfare 3, this is a double free-for-all Moab. On the map, Village, with that good old Scar-L and the classic overpowered MP9, right? Now, personally, I think that Ghost did something for us, and I've already covered this in one of my other commentaries, but they did bring, like, I guess, a double free-for-all Moabs. We never did that in Modern Warfare 3 community, I don't think, anyway. But, yeah, I guess Ghost brought that and nothing else because Ghost is horrible, right? But anyway, I'm going to mention who got this gameplay. His name was Machiaga, I think. The thing is, he's French, and I'm pronouncing that with a sp Spanish accent. So that really doesn't help this situation at all, of me not pronouncing your name right. So I'm sorry about that. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not good with names, but because everyone else says that. But I'm trying, you know? <laughs> I'm trying, right? But yeah, so... If you guys enjoy this gameplay and you think, oh, maybe he has some other gameplays, why don't you go check out his channel? I'm sure he has some other things along these lines. And if you're interested in me, Fuji, I'm sure you guys would find a home in my channel. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about something that I've glanced over in other commentaries I've done on my channel. But it's going to be a more in-depth view, and I've got a long commentary, so I've got time for it, you know. And this is on, I guess, an old friend of mine. I mean, he's not really my friend anymore. I'm gonna He's going to remain nameless. I'm just going to call him Richard, short for Dick. So you already can see my thoughts on him right now. But, you know... <sighs> Alright, let's start from square one. So, I'm going to tell you guys coming in from middle school. Alright, going into freshman year. Do not get too Gucci with upperclassmen. But now I'm going to be... I'm going to be completely um, hypocritical right now. Make as many friends as you can when you go to high school. The reason why is because it opens you up to a lot more things you hadn't experienced. I don't just mean drugs. I mean, if you're into that, I don't know what. Um, I mean, like, a lot of different friendships. You can open up to a lot of different things, you know, to experience. It's a good feeling when you have a lot of friends. I mean, hey, I definitely have way more friends than I used to. And, you know, I didn't have any friends coming into middle school at all, so... Definitely high school is a nice refreshment. Freshman year, I think you guys are going to enjoy the most because of all the new stuff you're going to experience. But I'm going to tell this story. Basically, what happened was I'm sitting in IED, Introduction to Engineering Design. If you guys don't know already, what you're going to need to do when you go to high school, at least in my state, you got to take a tech credit class. You have to take one year of technology in order to graduate, an engineering class, basically. Even if you don't want to be an engineer, which is my case... You still got to take it. So I took it. I said, all right, I'm getting this out of the way early in the year. And I was like, all right, okay, okay, I can do that. And I did it. And this guy that was sitting next to me, you know, I don't know what it was. And to this day, I still have no idea what it was. It was, I thought I knew him from somewhere. Maybe I saw him or I talked to him. But I asked him, I'm like, do I know you? And he said, no, not to my knowledge, no. And I didn't know him and he didn't know me. But we started talking, you know, um, doing what everyone, every guy does that meets somebody else, and we, not in that way. <laughs> but it, when, you know, two fr two guys meet and they want to be friends, and they end up being friends, you know, exchanging phone numbers, you know, um, play exchanging gamer tags in this case. And yeah, we just started getting along very well. He introduced me to some of um, his friends. And the funny thing was one of his friends was actually his best friend, it was a long-lost friend I hadn't seen in five years. And that's a whole nother commentary for you. But, yeah, that was pretty cool, you know? Meeting some people, it was almost as if fate kind of brought us together in a way. All right. Now, over the over the semester, over the, you know, half of the year, we were really good friends, you know? We'd go out to lunch every day. We talked. We had good laughs, you know? But now that I look back on it, I kind of see it. I kind of see what was happening. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you in a minute. Basically, I started, you know, being real nice to this guy. I do a lot of things for him, buy him stuff or something, you know. Basically, I was really friendly to this guy. Maybe over-friendly. But basically, what every little kid does in this case compared to an older kid when they want to be friends is they try to impress them. 
And don't deny it because I'm sure you've done it at some point. Heck, I did it all freshman year. And there are going to be a couple of people that you meet that when you impress them, it really ain't going to impress them at all. But what's going to happen is you guys are going to become good friends and that won't die. That bond will never, I guess, go away, unlike some of the other ones maybe. But yeah, I just... I, my goal is just try to impress him. And, you know, not only that, I like being friends with him and I like to keep it that way. I liked seeing him laugh. I liked hanging out with him. It was it was a really good time. And I I miss those times, you know. Sometimes I look back on them and I think, wow, where did this go? But maybe it was something that clicked. Maybe it was something that just stopped. Because it was like one day, I don't know what it was, but just one day... Something clicked in his head that, you know, I wasn't what I used to be, maybe. Something got drowned out. Something got used up. Something was overused. It became dull. I became like an object that, you know, wasn't really talked to that much. I mean, I talked to him, he'd blow me off. I tried to start up a conversation. It was really hard to do so because I didn't know what to talk about. I'd see his best friend. They were talking, laughing, and I was just sitting there like, "Mm hmm. I can't join in this. I'm just third wheeling it now at this point because there was a time when I thought I, w- I thought I was the best friend at one point, you know. I don't know. I don't know what happened, you know. But, yeah, just over time and finally at the end of the year, we just weren't friends anymore. We just didn't talk. I text him. I was just like, dude, what happened? You always blow me off. We never talk. And he's just like, it seemed like, and he said, just seemed like the chemistry died between us. We just, it was, as he said, it was forced to a decomposition. And... I read that as, you know, it just, it ended. It just went out. So, yeah, guys, that's it on that, you know. Um, You know, it just ended. And basically, the thing to take home, friendships don't last forever. And you guys got to understand that when you go to high school. Because you're going to meet people that you really think are cool. And you're going to act like they're the greatest people. You're going to try and impress them. You're going to try and be really good friends with them. Try to hang out with them often. And, you know, what's going to happen is simply... It's going to die out, and you've got to recognize it because if you don't recognize it, it's going to make you upset. It's going to make you sad. It's going to make you just think about how irritating irritating life is. You know, I grieve about it now and then every – I think about how we used to be good friends, and it just went down the toilet, and I miss the times we had together. You know, I really do miss hanging out with him. And, you know, I mean, I can't get back to it. I can't just be like, yo, let's start up a friendship again. I tried. <laughs> I was just like, dude, you want to start hanging out? And he's just like, uh, maybe. I don't know. But it just never went anywhere, you know. And that's what you guys got to understand about high school. So, all right, guys. That's it, guys. It's me, Fuji, signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. And make sure to like the video and all that jazz. So, yeah. Think about what I said. Later. Between us, it ain't all good.